Today I'm going to do a short video. I may have to do more on this Bible, which as you see is called the Didache Bible. And it is based on the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And I do have the Catechism right here, which I use. So, what's interesting about this Bible is that when you are working with it, there are, of course, the text here, but underneath it you will see the notes, and also some articles, for example. In this case, we are in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, and there are topics in here as well. So you will not only find a little writing underneath, which is a topic, but when you get into the Bible itself, you will find many places in it where there are actually pages with topics. For example, I'll find one for you in here. There are places where there are large sections like, um, for example, here you see fallen angels. Now that happens to be part of Leviticus. So we'll talk about it. It'll give you all of the relationships in that type of thing. But, and also cross-references to other places in the Bible. But what's the most interesting thing about it, it will do CCC. Now when you see a CCC in here, for example, right there is a CCC right there in that little place, CCC. That means... It's referring to the catechism. So therefore, when you are reading this, you will find those references. For example, in this place, I happen to be reading in Genesis, and it's talking about that section, about um, to be fruitful and multiply in the Old Testament, what it says about that. Now, it'll go through that with these notes underneath it. Then, it will say CCC 371 to 372. 371 to 372. Then, what you do is you open your catechism and you go to number 371 in here. There, at 371, you will get a section on this, that section. Now, I happen to have this there because this is the last place I was in the Catechism to read that. But you will find in here an explanation of that in the Catechism. So, what's good about this is that you can find not only the text and also some sections where it will give you cross-references, but also the articles you will get as well. Plus, every book has its own introduction. For example, Malachi here will have an introduction, and it goes through the author, the date, the audience, the main themes, and then you begin right here with Malachi. And as you can see, here you will have the text, and under that you will have the notes here, and here are some cross-references as well. So what you will find in here, again, every place you look, you will find CCCs. So that means what you can do with this is so many things. For example, if you're in the book of Mark, Sacrament of the Eucharist is an article that you have right here, and you have all the references to it, and also CCCs in there. And it says the Catechism address, addresses this question in paragraph 1416. So therefore, you go in the Catechism, and you look for 1416 in here, and you will find it. And then if you read that, it gives you the exact meaning of that particular passage here. So what this does, it gives you a very, very good idea of exactly 
what the relationship is between all of these things. Plus, at the end of Revelation, there are lots of huge, very, very interesting maps in here. Just immense maps, and they're very big, and they are quite good. Also, it has a glossary of terms after the maps. So as you can see, this Didache Bible here is very informative, especially if you use the Catechism along with it.